The thing about war is... It only works if both sides believe they're the good guys. The truth is, we're not so different. We fight to get back what was once ours. But in the end, and this is the end, it's just a city. You'll get used to watching them fall. I think we're safe for now. We need to figure out our next move. No, there is no next move. And there is no we. What is that? We're not here to eat. Are those pork? No, the shrimp. Oh, this guy's got pork. God, you're weird. I'm not looking for super friends. Shit. That doesn't matter. Can't fight these people. Not even with whatever it is your hand can do. It's cheap. It's not. They're hunting our friends, our families. And they're not gonna stop there. More death is coming. And the only thing keeping Manhattan from crumbling to a pile of dust is the four of you. The war for New York, it's over. Not yet. Nice ears. They're horns. I can see you've formed a kind of bond. I promise you it's temporary. Electra. They will disappoint you. Jessica. Like it or not, you belong out there together. I'm glad we found each other. I'm not hugging you. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. And congratulations, not just on this. You have so many incredible projects that we're going to get a chance to talk about. Two of them coming out on the 18th. So that's, crazy. It's that's, like, that's my crazy. day, the 18th. Yeah, it's your yeah. day. That's Ella Young Day now. That's official. <laughs> we're going to enable that. Um, how, how are you doing? How's your summer going so far? I imagine you're crazy. You have all these projects, all this press. How are you doing? I kind of recharged my batteries at home. I went back to Paris for... A little month and, you know, had great food there and hang out with my friends and my family nice. and that's it. And yeah. now I'm promoting quite a bit, which is great because, you know, being part of rather the Defenders or Hitman, Hitman's Bodyguard has yeah. been a blessing for me. It was really fun. It's uh, We're going to cover everything today. Uh, sometimes you go to certain places, they only want you to talk about one thing or whatever. Is it hard for you to keep track as you're going from place to place? What are we talking about right now? What's going on right now? Or is it all blurring together into one bit? I'll, I'll follow the flow. I'll follow you. Just flow with it. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, I saw you were at Comic-Con uh, recently talking about the Defenders and a bunch of stuff. Was that was that your first time there? No, you were there for uh, Daredevil Season 2, or no? Was this well, in time? San Diego? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it was my first time. Your time. First it was oh, there. Wow. Um, mon baptême, I would say, like, uh, I got baptized there. That was my first <laughs> time. And it's pretty. Have you guys been there? Anybody it's, been to San Diego Comic Con before? It's we got something, a couple. isn't it? It's, it's an a, experience. It is for an sure. experience. Yeah. Um, I I enjoyed it a lot because we 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 um, we showed the uh, Daredevil season two in New York mm -hmm. Comic Con. That's right. That's, That's the one I, I did, yeah. okay. and I was impressed then. Uh, but San Diego is like three times bigger. Yeah, it's a totally different beast. I mean, they're both great in their own uh, respects and for their Absolutely. different reasons. But like San Diego is, is an absolute monster. Were you in Hall A? Were you in the big hall? Were you yeah. yeah, Hall H. Hall, hall H, H, I yeah, think it was, it, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was packed. and uh, massive. It is great to, you know, get the chance to, because we do this on our own. We're in Brooklyn, in this, locked in a studio, and, yeah. you know, we, we do our own little thing. And uh, But then when we get to meet, uh, like the hardcore fans they come and they know the comics and they are in costumes and 
That's a reward. Well, there's got to be something like the energy in the room is amazing. Uh, and also there's something to be said for like you work on this thing in Brooklyn. You put all yourself into this. And then you see this massive, practically stadium full of people that are so excited for this thing that you worked on. Uh, the first time when you walk out and you see that crowd, what was that feeling like? Like, I just tried to count and couldn't like, you know, get track of it. It was just overwhelming uh, in a very good way because, yeah, it's just uh, you just receive love and then you can give back it's a it's a very pleasant feeling are you ever nervous that you're going to accidentally say something you're not supposed to say because you're in a marvel you don't want to give them any spoilers no, say anything about your they, they've you know, briefed you on right. that they've trained you oh, i've signed a million contracts yeah. <laughs> you know no, no it's just we kind of know that the thing is what marvel doesn't want is to spoil the, the you know the the, the thing for the joy of discovering it yeah. for the fans so i'm not going to give away too many things today do not right. even try well, we're gonna we're gonna see what happens <laughs> okay. um you were there for defenders you were also there i thought this was really cool uh you did some work uh with david Tennant and one of our guests later today Catherine winnick ah, on, she's uh, amazing yeah she's gonna be yeah. here a little bit this afternoon um for call of duty uh this zombie nazi yeah. this looks amazing by the yeah. way yeah uh talk about uh that that project that you got to work on and, and what that's all about it's about Nazis and zombies. <laughs> it's right there in the title. They tell you exactly what you're I think it's pretty yeah. clear what it's about. Um, I play um, Olivia Durand. She is French. She's part of this um, squad that's, you know, coming out um, to, to, how do you say, like, have back the art that the Nazis have stolen during okay, the war. Claim the art and, and get that back yeah. and retrieve it and all that. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah, but when they arrive there, what they find out is that very strange creatures are, you know, there and start to attack them. So it's kind of, it's really creative. I've never done that before. Yeah, that was a um, follow-up. Is this your first project like this? Yeah, like it's very first, very first time that I'm doing something like this. And uh, so I, you know, I, I, they just put like, um, they take a million pictures of you and then they create this little character that looks like you and they That's give you... so weird. It is weird. <laughs> it's so weird. And... Um, and then you're in a booth, mm -hmm. um, and you have a few lines, and just and they feed you with the story, and yeah. uh, and then you just like create this. So you that's know, interesting. Character. They do it separate because I know they're doing motion capture to sort of get your uh, your persona and put it in there. But you're doing the lines and the dialogue separately as well. like again, that's yeah. another process. It is so another like process. Yeah. No, the, the first thing is you enter in some sort of a spaceship yeah. and it's like it's round and uh, and you're just yeah. like yeah, yeah scans you you know everything and then you 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 give your voice to the character wow yeah and then i and then you end up rolling in the booth like because you're attacked by 10 and then 20 zombies and yeah. is there a lot of like i need you to grunt and then it's like okay i need you to grunt but louder now grunt like there's 10 zombies absolutely like, it is like this it's a lot of uh, like yeah. like an uh, ah you know and louder louder and uh, you sweat by the end of it you're like okay i've done my workout for the day yeah. it's a different set of tools working in that regard than it yeah. is on a set or something yeah. like that it's a yeah. totally different process yeah well you you're by yourself so you yeah. do you can't bounce back on a partner, you know, on like the defenders, there are four of them, and yeah. Sigourney Weaver, and uh, and We're I got, oh, I know, and so you bounce back on, you know, another a partner for this type of uh, project in a, in a video game. You're by yourself, so it's really interesting. You have to use your imagination. Yeah. Do you uh, prepare for the role in the same way that you would for a role? Even though you know the performance is going to be different, the process is going to be different, you're still embodying a character. Do you do yeah. research or, or, or do you look into the background of who this person's going to be so that you yeah. could use that to inform? Yeah. Absolutely. And that's what seduced me, you know. I'm not really into video games. I might, like, start now to be into it. I, you know, well, you're in one now, right? I'm in one, yeah. I'm literally, literally in, in one, yes, so true. At this point, but um, it's that you know they they are very creative. Like each character um, has a, a proper background. Mm -hmm. uh, my character was involved in the resistance, the French resistance, and I think that's why they wanted me to be there. My granddad was in the resistance with his out. with his dad. So I'm like, okay, there's like history there, and maybe that's a good way as well to you know carry on you know, a bit of a message or a history, a piece yeah. of history, you know. Um, so I liked that aspect of it, actually. Yeah. Um, what was probably the most challenging aspect of that project, of the voiceover, of the video game stuff, the thing that you were most challenging? Um, it's like you have to keep up this stamina. 
you are locked. One day I'm going to do it again. And, you know, it's just like you are in this little space and uh, you, you do have to give 100% for the 10 hours you're there and imagining, you know, those crazy uh, weapons and zombies and, yeah. you know, and create the surprise constantly. So that's like a, you, have to, a trick, of, you yeah. have to trick your mind. Yeah. It's mentally exhausting. Yeah. Uh, well, speaking of stamina, speaking of challenges, let's talk about making this and, and getting into the Defenders. Uh, I got a chance to see the first four episodes. You? Yeah, you're lucky. awesome in it. I know. Oh. I'm very lucky. I'm very lucky. Uh, you do a fantastic job. And I remember reading uh, a little bit earlier on, uh, before you knew if you were going to be in it or not, that you hoped that Electra would be a part of the Defenders and you'd hope you get to come back. Uh, and now we know that you do. And we also know that it's very different than when we last saw you. So is that, is that a challenge, coming back with this character that you've kind of worked on, you fleshed out, you built it up, now you kind of have to hit reset and, and kind of come at it from a different angle. Was that scary when you got the script or were you excited? What was that like when you found out this is how it was going to be? Uh -huh. Nothing really scares me. It's exciting. It's exciting to be part of, you know, this uh, project. And um, and I loved Electra so much when I initially got the part that when they were um, they told me that I was going to be part of the Defenders, I was just excited by it. Yeah. It was challenging because, as you said, she's a complete like it's you press the reset button. Yeah. You have to start over. And you start over, and it's almost. Um, having to to create a new character because she doesn't remember uh, who she is. Right. She doesn't remember anything. Or, you know, it'll come back slowly. Okay. That's what or I'm will it? Or will it come yeah. back I don't slowly. know. Will it? I've only seen the first either. four episodes. I forgot, actually. I, I forgot. can't tell you. I'm just I like, Electra, I forget, I forget everything. <laughs> So that's so that is pretty exciting. You get you get this opportunity to, in a way, uh, uh, travel through like a familiar p territory, but also from a completely different perspective. That's exciting. Um, the the fight choreography, of course, as expected, is phenomenal, and you guys are obviously working your butts off. Um, do you have to approach that differently at this point now, or because it's a different character, right? So does she have to relearn how to fight? Does she fight in a different way? Like, you know, and how does that sort of inform that process for you? Because I imagine you're doing 99%, if not 100% of, of the choreography. But the, how it works, yeah. it's, I cover everything, and Lauren Kim, who's my stunt double, and she is the best, guys. Uh, she, Round of applause for Lauren Kim, stunt double, because she's the best. team effort. Honestly. Like, Electra is both of us, you yeah. know. The amount of physicality that, you know, we have in this character, uh, you know, I, I do have to uh, appreciate her work, and she's yeah. amazing. So, um, but I do it as well, and I knew that for the Defenders, Electra will come back even more badass. Mm -hmm. So I, as soon as I knew it, I was like, Okay, Mr. Marvel, I do have to train this time yeah. way more than last year. So please, you know, get me a proper training. Like, I do need to go through the pain. How long is that process? And that's got to be exciting, too, that you're going to get that kind of training. Because yeah. you have your black belt, is that correct? Yeah, I still have it. Your black belt yeah. karate. You got that. You started young, too, right? I did my research. Uh -huh. I was looking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I started. How? I was nine years old. That's when what I, I thought. Yeah, yeah, that's insane and mm -hmm. awesome. As I recall, the story I read, and you can you can let me know if this is true or not, yeah. that your uh, father offered you piano or karate. Is <laughs> yeah, that is that true? Like this is like, uh, I think it was dance and piano. The dance, it was dance. It's like, do, would you like to do ballet or would you like to do karate? I'm like, oh, sounds exciting. Yeah, I want to do karate, daddy. Oh, that's so awesome. And now here you are. In the defense. Yeah, now I can kick their butts. Do you um? Does that? So that's, that was why, uh, in no disrespect to your stunt uh, uh, double, I, I assumed that maybe you had done a lot of it. Do, do you take to the choreography a little uh, more quickly than some of your uh, co-stars, and do they give you a hard time for that? I'm going to say the truth. Yes, I do. Yeah. yeah. They're going to say it. no, and they're going to say it. no. No, I think, you know, all of us, we really trained hard. And each character has his own style. Yeah. You know? A hundred percent. Like, Jessica June, she comes and she's like, just, you know. So awesome to watch, yeah. Yeah, she just goes for it. It's like one rough punch. Uh, Luke Cage, uh, he's indestructible. Yeah. So he's just like kind of stands here and then, <laughs> you know, gives it. Uh, Matthew, my favorite. Oh, Matthew. Yeah, he's pretty <laughs> skilled. And then there's uh, Iron Fist, and you know, he's got the fist. Electra, like, that's it. That's so simple. I mean, Electra doesn't have like a superpower. So I do have, uh, as an actress, I do have to go through a lot of training to be able to kind of match the level of my. Uh, 
of martial arts of my character. Yeah. And what we did for, for Electra is a mix of martial arts. Yeah. So very cool. That's yeah, that's pretty awesome. You mentioned uh, and this is very apparent that everybody has their own sort of fighting style, their own choreography, their own their own sort of flavor. Uh, that extends, I think, as well to the visual style. You know if you're watching a Luke Cage scene, there's an abundance of yellow lighting and all the color palettes. Everybody has a color palette and has a vibe. Uh, you and Daredevil tend to have a lot more red in your scene. Is that something that happened a lot after in post, or was that something you guys would walk on set and you'd go, oh, it's a Luke Cage day. There's yellow everywhere. Like, did you guys walk in no, and know? It's pretty much a post. It's all post? Yeah, it's yeah. all post. I'm, I'm sure, you know, they do something on set, but it's yeah, uh, there's, there's very technical and subtle, yeah. And um, I... I'm, I focus on other stuff when I'm on set. So right, I, I guess, you, you know, I don't like see the light or, you know. But I would say mostly it's in post. And I think I was curious to, to really see it because yeah. you're like, it's one show. How are they going to blend, you know, those uh, four worlds uh, together? And um, I don't know what you think, but I think... Oh, it's, they do. It's, yeah, it happens, yeah. It's really cool the way it starts off is that uh, oh, it, everybody has their world, right, in the first episode. I'm not going to give away anything, guys. Don't worry. I'm not, I'm not. You knew, you knew that much, okay? Right, so so that happens. You're gonna but, be in trouble. But over, yeah, right, right. The, over time, though, everything starts to blend together and it starts to coalesce, and it's very, very rewarding when they all finally do come together and everything starts to happen. Uh, but it's impossible not to notice those fun little subtle things, and I think that's what draws people to the Marvel projects and to the Marvel films is, and shows is that that attention to detail, that little bit, that little extra bit of like everybody has their own palette, their own world, their own universe, and everything kind of ties together. Um, I want to talk. So this is. Uh, this is great. We could talk about this all day, but you have so much going on. I do want to talk about another project that you have coming up, uh, also coming out on the 18th, uh, The Hitman's Body. Uh, it's Elodie's Day with this idea. Yeah, Elodie's Day. That's right. Exactly. August 18th, Elodie's Day. That's happening. Uh, we're declaring it. Um, but uh, The Hitman's Bodyguard, right, uh, is coming out on the 18th, as we've said. Uh, we're going to take a look. I believe we have the trailer for that. We're going to watch that real quick. Yeah, and then we're, and it's the red band, too, right? So children earmuffs. Um <laughs> Right, so we're gonna run that, and then we'll and then we'll, we'll talk a little bit about okay. it. All right. Thank you, Matt. This is Michael Bryce. I'm an executive protection agent. I've extracted my client. Cleanup is required. You might want to call the bomb squad. Make it the fire department. Is that my car? I'm afraid so. Have a seat. It's been a long day. The trial continues. One of the world's most brutal dictators. With a key witness to testify. I can assure you, we're more than prepared for any assault. <laughs> prepared for that assault, motherfucker? When Kincaid is dead, you'll be paid in full. There's a safe house not far from here. I have a job for you. The transport is in there. What the f Twenty-seven times. That's how many times this asshole's tried to kill me. Twenty-seven. Twenty-eight. <laughs> you won't last one hour without me. You gonna be a little bitch about it? Tell us where your husband is. You lost my husband. That is your job, motherfucker. The only way Bryce and Kincaid don't make it to is if they kill each other first. <laughs> If you wouldn't mind, the gun. Yo, you about done? Okay, on three. One. My bad. You're bad. No, when life gives you shit, you make Kool-Aid. Life doesn't usually give you shit and then turn into a beverage. Uh, round of applause, please, for that. Yes. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Um, so that looks awesome. Uh, quick, quick summary, uh, if that happened a little fast for you. So uh, obviously, Ryan Reynolds is a, a bodyguard, and, and Samuel Jackson is a famous hitman. They used to bump heads together. And uh, you're supposed to take care uh, of the hitman. Everything yeah. kind of goes wrong. And so you have to call in your ex-boyfriend, Ryan Reynolds, to watch after him and keep him alive, basically, yeah. right? Things 
don't go that well either no. after that. <laughs> Things escalate from there. <laughs> no. Um, this looks like not only is it going to be a ton of fun to watch, it must have been a ton of fun to make. Uh, were you guys constantly laughing on set, having a blast every time? I mean, yeah. Ryan Reynolds, notorious uh, prankster and jokester on set. He and, is. He is yeah. like, he's hilarious. Always setting the tone, keeping everything That's light. That's it. Yeah. It's just yeah. like, this is what you have here, it's what we had on set. Yeah. Pretty much. So it was kind of, you know, really fun, fun to do for me. I mean, one of the things uh, uh, that I didn't get to tap into, though, when we were talking about Defenders, is that you worked um, with uh, uh, Ripley from Alien. Somebody, please, I can't believe. Sigourney, Sigourney Weaver. Weaver. <laughs> yes. Excuse me? I will, first of all, Sigourney, That's I'm boom, sorry. Boo. <laughs> yeah. no, I'm joking. No, uh, I'm joking, I'm please, joking. I deserve it, I deserve it. <laughs> no, Anyone who forgets that. Sigourney Weaver's name. The reason I bring Sigourney Weaver up is to, is to put it in context that you have had an opportunity to work with these absolute legends and all these amazing people. Samuel Jackson, Salma Hayek is in here. Uh, Gary Oldman. Gary Oldman is in this yes. film. Yes. Um, what is that like for you? First time you're walking on set, you're in a scene with this person with this rich history and this, uh, this experience. Yeah. Is it intimidating? Is it surreal? Is it scary? It's oh, you're not afraid of anything, though. You told me that earlier. I'm not really scared of anything. Yeah. It, is a, it is very... Um, it can be a bit intimidating. I mean... Uh, Growing up, I had the biggest crush on Gary Oldman. Uh, I watched, you know. Who didn't? Uh, who didn't? You did. You, you, did you? Everybody, it's Gary Oldman. Yeah, it's Gary Oldman. He got you at some point. I don't know. There was something like, Gary Oldman did at some point. He got so you. So good at yeah. it, you know. So uh, and then you know, uh, Samuel L. Jackson. I mean, there's my legend. Yeah, I mean, there's legend. Nothing he more to here. say. He was here. Yeah. And so yeah. Incredible. I, yeah, I was like, okay, I'm going to get to work with those guys. <laughs> uh, Ryan, you know, made me at ease very easily and uh, because he just, cr just cracks jokes all the time. So yeah. that's like, okay, it's fun. And, but I, I was very impressed and, uh, and, and thrilled, yeah. you know, to share the screen with those guys and uh, sure. just being on set with them, working with them or just even observing their work. I learned so much because they are passionate about their work. Yeah, you yeah. think like with their careers that you know they would come and just bring it and then go back to their trailer, or whatever you know the, the type of things that you think. Yeah, yeah. Actually, they they are the, the you know the actors they are because they are passionate. That's the word really and dedicated. And very present and in very the, present. Having fun with the material. Oh yes. And having fun with the, yes. with the job. Yeah. You know, there's a strong uh, sense of humor throughout that trailer that comes along. With. Was that was that fun, that element? Because, you know, Marvel stuff has a sense of humor, but you don't have an opportunity to make a whole lot of jokes on the Defenders. <laughs> um, was the sense of humor... A lot of people, so, yeah. know, I'm busy doing other stuff. You're busy. No, you're doing a lot of stuff. Uh, not making jokes, though. Um, was the sense of humor, was the fun, was the obvious, oh, this is going to be a, a, a different change of pace. Was that what drew you to this project? Uh, and yeah. Brought you in, yeah. I wanted to have uh, something, you know, a bit different. And yeah. I watch comedies and... Um, and I, I was, and also when they sent me the script was with those guys, I'm like, okay, I'm in. Yeah, of you course, know? Right. I mean, you this, know. this is yeah. like a bromance that you want to see Ryan Reynolds and Samuel L. Jackson. Together. To that end, to that bromance end, and to the, the point of there's a really strong sense of humor here, I think we have another poster they did, which anyone, can we, yeah, can you take a look at this? Is that funny? <laughs> Show of hands if you get the reference too, by the way. A couple, okay, thank heavens. Yeah, this is an homage to uh, the classic Kevin Costner, Whitney Houston, 92, 94. Somebody will look it up and correct me on that. Um, it, but this is incredible. They look great. Yeah, like, don't they? Yeah. Um, so, so it's very, okay, we can. We <laughs> very can, much in love. We can put the other poster back up. I just, it's important to me that everybody knew that uh, it seems like from the ground up, from everyone on set to everyone working on even the marketing, there's, there's still a ton of fun to be had. Yeah. Uh, in this film, and you said you were watching a screening recently, and you were laughing along with it. You're excited to see it with a big audience. Yeah, I'm gonna. I, I watched it with you know a few people from Lionsgate, and they're all taking notes. It's very serious. Uh, when it comes out on the 18th, I'm gonna sneak in you know a room full of people because this is really something you want to enjoy with a you know a full audience. Yeah, it looks like a big yeah. theater, it's big a audience. It's yeah. a share, yeah. like a sharing yeah. film, definitely. Yeah, so for yeah, sure. For I I would be crazy not to point out that a majority of everyone on that set. Samuel, Ryan Reynolds, yourself, obviously, Gary Oldman. These are all people that have been in these giant comic book universe movies at some point or another. Do you guys like sit around and trade war stories and finally tell people <laughs> the secrets you couldn't reveal? Like, you know, uh, kind of what Sam, when the first time he 
he saw me were rehearsing on yeah. set. And uh, he looked at me and was like, you're smaller than the than you look on the on the show. I'm like, which show? He's like, Electra, I thought you were taller than that. I'm like, yeah, you look smaller as well. You're smaller as well. Back off. <laughs> Uh, but he loves Daredevil, and he, yeah. Yeah, he really likes it. But I was like, well. I love the idea of you all getting together and agreeing you're all mutually tinier than yeah. re recently perceived. Like, oh, wow, you guys are a lot smaller. We're all... Where's your costume, Deadpool? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I would believe that he carries it around with him. I'd be shocked if he didn't show up on set one day just wearing it, I don't know, at the craft services table. I think he sleeps in his, like, I think he does. He, should, he bathes in it, from what I understand. Mm, yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, anyway, uh, we're kind of... We got to turn it over uh, to audience q and I believe we have some microphones in the room. Uh, first question is right here. Here you are, sir. Hello. Hi. Um, just two things. One, right about one thing, Electra doesn't need superpowers. She never did. She doesn't need them. Makes her better and makes her better that way. Agree. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The question is, looking back at the Defenders and, you know, Electra and Daredevil, I mean, we go way back, those two. How do you think it's going to be different, the, the, the relationship between them both is going to be different than how it is in the comics? Well, there we keep, I think what we try to do is transpose the essence of, you know, the comics. And obviously, Elektra and, and Daredevil and Matthew, Matt Murdock, they've had a really strong bond. You know, it's a complicated relationship, but there's a very, very strong bond between them. And that's the thing we, we, we kind of kept in, in, in the series. Uh, now, I can't really tell you how it's going to evolve because that's a very clever way of asking this question. You tried. <laughs> that's you tried. that's nice, 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 nice try. Yeah. Uh, but so all I can say is that despite the fact that, um, you know, that she's forgotten everything, there's... There's still a heart beating in her, and uh, and the only thing that would make her heart beat is the love that she had for Dead Devil. There you go. There you go. So yeah, yeah. I think you can say that's that's good. That's good. Uh, we have another question from right here. I don't know Hi. Right. Um, Hello. Uh, uh, besides that uh, hysterical exchange between you and Samuel Jackson, was there any other funny stories on set uh, while working on the Hitman's Bodyguard? Because you have both of these guys with natural comedic abilities? Ah, uh, that's always like a tricky question for me because I have, I, like, first of all, I can't tell jokes. Like when th those guys, they come there, you can ask them like, you know, uh, funny stories and all that. Uh, it was just, what I can say is that the atmosphere, mm -hmm. it's just like you, you don't go to the office and it's uh, kind of hard to go through the day. You go on set and it's Ryan Reynolds and Samuel L. Jackson and Salma Hayek, who's yeah. like something. You Didn't know. you get to travel around with her and do some press with Salma? I did, I, I did, yeah. Oh my God, what a treat. Yeah, right? like how awesome just, was that? She's, she's the best. She's, the, she's so warm and yeah. so it was just, a general like the the le line like the the how do you say in English like the what do you say when it's like on give le la le no it's I, very I'm French. gonna consult my resident French okay. expert Sarah uh, in the room Sarah, like, no. like, just to answer your question sorry I can't see you anymore sorry <laughs> <laughs> where are you right back there. Uh, it was just like a really fun set to be on and a very organic way also to to mm. do this movie because we had a script but of course you know with those two it's a lot of improv and yeah. ideas that come. Uh, that come on the day. Is that ever uh, intimidating or difficult for you, the improv with, um, I assume English is not your first language. Well, it is not. Yeah. Wait. Remarkable job, by the way. I, thank I, you, I, thank I only you. know that thank because you. of your uh, accent and the fact that you just totally rolled into French there for a second and you grew up in France. Uh, but... Uh, <laughs> get that? <laughs> yeah, that much I've, I've understood. <laughs> um, so can that be scary if they, if they do start doing improv or stuff like that? Or have you developed a muscle on your... I, you know what? I think sometimes... Well, I think when there is a difficulty in life, you just have to use your skills, your assets. And um, because we were changing a lot of the script, and initially I think this character, mine, Amelia Ryder, was writing for an American woman, but they wanted me, and uh, they were like, Elodie, your accent's fine. So in this in this movie, our character, uh, his, his character and mine aren't really on the same page. Like, he's my ex-boyfriend, blaming me for things that I haven't done. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, and so I get pretty mad at him. So 
So I offered to just swear in French at Ryan and That's awesome. the whole time. So I, you know, I got to use my French. And, That's perfect. Uh, yeah. Right. So like a few bad French words in this. So yeah. Very exciting. Uh, <laughs> I believe we have time for one more question right here. Hi. Um, Hello. My question is, uh, what are you looking forward to for viewers when they see the next season of uh, Dear Dub? Um, or not Dear Dub. You know, I, I, I'm yeah, hoping that if uh, they, they were excited by the the four shows that um, Marvel's released about, you know, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, Iron Fist, and Daredevil, I'm, I'm hoping that they will find uh, this one a, even, you know, a, a better com you know, a good combination of all those words, and um, and I think. Um, you you have to be a certain age to watch it. It's yeah. <laughs> like it didn't take your little sister or little brother yeah. to watch. Like I think you know we have to be careful of that. It's quite gritty, violent, yeah. bloody, can be a bit scary. Uh, but then I also think that um, you know all of us we were pretty happy with the uh, the way our characters were written again in this series and how they evolve. So the arc of the, of the series is uh, pretty interesting. We had a lot of fun to do it. I really hope you guys are gonna enjoy watching it. Well, uh, I think without question, if the first four episodes are any indication, uh, they are gonna have an absolute blast watching it. You guys did a, f a fantastic job. Congratulations on everything. Uh, I, I have to let you go. But a reminder, August 18th, Elodie Young Day, we're all gonna celebrate. <laughs> we're getting t-shirts made. We're gonna see the <laughs> Defenders, August 18th, and uh, the Hitman's Bodyguard, also August 18th. And keep an eye out for uh, Call of Duty, uh, World War II zombie Nazis, of course. <laughs> guys, one more time, please. Elodie Young, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Guys. Thank you. Thank you.